Oh god, I'm dropping things. Hello, welcome to my channel, Hillary Vintage. Today I have my Redbird Vintage Box unboxing. We are a little bit outside of October because I wanted to reserve October for my spooky Halloween videos. So if you haven't checked those out, definitely do. I made some really fun things over the month of October. And now we're back to our scheduled content, which includes this Redbird Vintage Box unboxing. So this is the Lorraine, which is six items, and they include clothing. Um, this is a subscription I get once a month. It is $100. You can use my code HaleyMarie10 to get 10% off your box. Um, this one I actually, again, did no requests, so usually they have their request videos. I'm very excited. I have a really busy and kind of stressful week ahead of me. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. No requests. No idea what's in here. I've Now this is the second time I've done it, and I'm really, really excited. Oh my god. I swear. Okay. We're struggling a little bit. There we go. So, as usual, I struggle to open. Here is the inside. It's super fun. It's funny because there was a while where I couldn't show the inside of my box because things would get really like shaken in the mail, but lately it seems like my mail has been arriving intact. So, we have the little frill piece. I don't think I have a pair here oh and this one has it's like earring ear pad on it and um, this is a really cute earring i wonder if i'll maybe make it into dress clip it's just kind of nice and brown and generic super usable um and then i have my letter dear Haley, we hope you love your box this month sarah and karen so we have the jewelry oh, i love boxes i have no idea what i'm getting like i said this is the first one in a while that that's been the case for oh god i'm dropping things First up, it looks like we maybe have a gold stone ring. We'll see. Yes. Oh my God, I'm really excited about this. I really like this type of stone. It's a little bit big, but it will fit my middle finger just fine. I will show close-ups, but gold stone is that kind of like sparkly orangey stone. Um, and I really do like it. So I'm excited about this ring. And yes, it fits my fingers. You know, for all the rings that I seem to not wear frequently, um, which is on me. I do love rings. Ooh, and then we have little studs. These are really, really pretty. They're pretty like inlaid flowers, I think. Um, but I think those are really, really cute too. I feel like they, at this point, just kind of know I like the like inlay things. Uh, and then we have this guy. This is, oh, this is really cute. This is just like a sparkly little bro brooch. It would look really cute with scarves or just on its own. I should have worn a brooch today. I always say that when I get brooches in my boxes because I always forget. And then we have, ooh, this is really pretty. This is another inlaid. This is made in Taiwan, so definitely newer. Um, but this is just like a pretty choker. Very, very nice. I like that too. I'll show you close-ups of it, but it has some black flowers and some gray flowers with some blue inlay. That's really, really pretty. Um, and yeah, it's kind of a bib necklace, but I'm very excited about that. And then we have our last pieces. Oh, these are really cool. These are, um, I think they're swans. Um, I, yeah, I would say they're swans with like colorful wings, which is not how swans look, but that's fine. Um, but they're really, really cute and they're very in my color palette. They match this table really well. And that is it on the jewelry. I'll move everything from there aside. And now for my favorite part, the clothing. Uh, so it looks like I have two items here, which makes sense. Ooh, this is soft. Oh, it's silk and acrylic. That makes sense. Um, probably 80s, made in British Hong Kong, hand wash flat. Um, I guess I should show you this before reading all the laundry instructions, but lately I've been doing a ton of laundry, so I'm very interested in the laundry instructions. But this is what this looks like. It is very pretty, very my style. I could layer some, wow, I'm just gonna drag all the jewelry around. Uh, I could layer some blouses under it with some collars. And yeah, I like how soft it is, which I guess makes sense since it is silk and acrylic. Um, and it is a Robert Scott. Um, and yeah, like I said, it was 52% silk, 48% acrylic, which is interesting because I recently learned from the Clothes Horse podcast that a lot of times that's based on importation laws, which is really interesting. I should probably link that down below. I've been on a huge binge. And I already only buy vintage, but I definitely will continue to only buy vintage. And then, ooh, I'm really excited about this. This looks really pretty. 
Uh, this is what, probably 60s or 70s? Oh, I love this. This is, oh no, this, mm, who knows? Actually, this is exciting though. This is a Pendleton. Um, it's made out of Portland, Oregon. Um, it's this really beautiful teal and yellow plaid. I really hope it fits me because I think it's so freaking cute. 100% um, virgin wool, warranted to be a Pendleton. Wow, this is so pretty. I, yeah, I hope it fits me. And this is why I like to give room and not, well, honestly, I don't do requests when I, it's at the beginning of the month and I have literally no time to do requests and that's why no requests happen. But I also feel like when I have had no requests, they've sent me the most gorgeous things. Like this one I could even wear with this blouse here and it would be super cute. So I'm excited about this. I think it's so cute. Um, and as you can see here, it's lined, so I won't have to wear um, a slip with it. Most of my wool garments I have to wear slips with, otherwise they're horribly itchy and uncomfortable. But this one I won't have to, and this will probably be a pretty big wardrobe keep. I actually have a teal dress that I used in actually one of my Halloween videos. That kind of reminds me of this plaid, but this plaid it's just a bit different, but this is gorgeous and I can't wait to try it on. But that is it for this box. Um, as usual, I really love non-request box. I think I'm going to try to do these every three or four months because I do really love what they send me when I don't send them requests. I'm going to continue to do these and yeah, I'm excited about all the jewelry pieces. I think I'm wearing probably a pair of earrings of theirs right now. Um, they've definitely figured exactly what I like out with the jewelry. So that's always fun. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit that thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you would love to stick around and subscribe, I would super love to have you. I will see you next time. Bye.